Join me for some robotic hijinks in me and Roboco. Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of A Week in Geekdom. Geo here, and today we're going to be taking a first impressions look, although it's been out for around uh, 18 or so weeks, so I'm a little bit late on that, I do apologize, but nonetheless, we're here to talk about the latest gag comedy series in Shonen Jump, or one of them actually, because there are a few that are in publication as of this video, is of course Me and Roboco. This is written and drawn by Shuhei Miyazaki, and he's a newcomer to the whole scene. I only know him from a parody manga that he did on Promised Neverland, so this is like the full uh, first experience, I guess, with the mangaka. So what exactly is Me and Roboco? Well, the official description tells us that in the year 20 X, a time where every household owns cute maid robots known as order maids, Average grade schooler Bondo dreams of having his very own robot, but what he got was unable to compute. Life is gonna get a whole lot weirder when Roboco, the most powerful clumsy maid ever created, shows up at his door. So that in a nutshell is what Me and Roboco is all about, but it's so much more. It's a very charming, funny, wacky, and utterly bizarre series. You have the character of Bondo, and he's jealous that everybody has these order maids, these cute maids that help all the different uh, people around, or in his circle friends, all the elementary school kids. And he's, uh, you know, he's jealous and he wish he wishes he could have that opportunity to have a maid uh, cater to all his uh, requests and needs, I guess. His family, of course, doesn't have the money for it, uh, but it isn't until Bondo sees an ad for a used maid that he's able to awkwardly convince his mom to order one. And part of the charm in this series is how uh, self-aware this title is. It's It knows its premise is wacky and bizarre, and it's just going to go with it. And you see, as soon as Bondo gets his wish, the story really kicks off with the introduction of what he... Uh, was not expecting at all. Roboco is unlike any maid. Every other maid that you see at the beginning of the manga is very stereotypical, very boy based, and uh, sort of a caricature of what you would expect a anime cutesy servant would be like. But Roboco is uh, thick. She's <laughs> so she's very expressive. She's strong. She's bizarre, and she pulls out the most obscure humor and references to other pop culture stuff from Japan. And the fact that it's a Shonen Jump title, I love that the characters reference other Jump titles and do references to other manga and anime, which is always great to see. And don't be uh, put off by that. Sometimes you you might think, oh, I'm not gonna get it because it's referencing stuff I don't know. You you will still laugh and you will still enjoy me and Roboco. But if you happen to have uh, know who Nappa is from Dragon Ball Z, or you know about uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, you're, you're gonna get the jokes and it's gonna make it that much better and funnier, in my honest opinion. The art in this is charming and it goes really wholesome and wacky. Uh, the character designs are really... Uh, yeah, they do exhibit some manga sensibilities and, you know, stereotypical art for what a chibi gag comedy is, but it, I think it shares more of a mix with Western sensibilities, the way the characters are designed and their bodies and stuff. Uh, the supporting cast in this is hilarious. Uh, the, <laughs> the, uh, uh, his Bondo's friend, the uh, gorilla, is probably one of the funniest side characters that I've ever seen. And there was this specific chapter in uh, where they're fighting off a bear in, in the forest. And Roboco, uh, uh, the kid, decides to volunteer to be struck, uh, to strike the bear so that the, the rest of them can escape, uh, Bondo and his friends and Roboco. 
So Boko takes the kid and just chucks him at the bear and she doesn't know her own strength. She's super powerful and the thing about her is that uh, she is so larger than life. Her humor, her references, her strength, she's unlike anything else, which is great. It's a great message for kids as well to be your own person and not be like everybody else. And all the other maids are very stereotypical. They behave a certain way, they follow a certain pattern. But here you have Roboco who is larger than life and she really enjoys what she's doing and she loves her new family even though she goes about it in terrible ways. And that's sort of charming and really defines the series and makes it uh, a standout in my opinion with all the current uh, catalog of manga titles in Shonen Jump. Uh, but yeah, going back to my little uh, joke here, uh, he, Roboco chucks the kid at the bear, but she completely misses, and she just goes flying off into the distance, and I just, I laughed so much at that scene. With this series being more episodic in nature, yes, there are a couple plot threads running throughout, but it's very minimal. It's most uh, of a story of a week type of thing, and you can enjoy it regardless. Uh, part of the charm relies on two things. One is the comedic timing of the mangaka and how he's able to pull off the jokes. And for the most part, they all land pretty solid. And I think it's pretty funny for kids and adults. There are a couple of <laughs> lewd-ish uh, jokes that kids probably aren't going to pick up, but uh, us older folk will appreciate and I thought they were pretty clever and pretty funny. The comedic timing of all the characters and how they interact with each other is pretty uh, fun and spot on and it's very enjoyable. There's not a moment where it becomes too boring. The story always uh, keeps a an energetic pace. You're not bored or lose interest as to what's happening. Most of these uh, chapters, uh, the stories are very simple but very fun in its execution. So. All in all, I love the progression of Bondo, of how you have this kid who was worried about being bullied for not fitting in, to realizing that he doesn't have to be like everybody else and he can stand apart on his own, whether that means having a robot companion uh, to make that realization happen, well, that's, that's, that's life, I guess. But regardless, his journey's pretty uh, wholesome, and his interactions and his family. I, I love the gag with his mom constantly holding a knife. I thought that was pretty funny. And overall, it's just a treat and very uh, nice. It's a very nice, funny manga that I think you'll enjoy. So as a first impressions basis, 18 chapters in, I think it's a success and I cannot wait to continue reading and enjoying. And it's sort of a palate cleanser to all the craziness that's happening out there in the world. So I look forward each week to a new chapter of me and Roboco. What about you guys? Did you like this manga? Have you been reading me and Roboco? Let me know in the comments section down below what you thought of it. And if not, what are some of your favorite robots in manga or comics as well? Let me know in the comment section as well. Guys, thank you so much. I've got to go. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of A Week in Geekdom. Again, it really does mean a whole lot. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I do content like this where I talk about anime, manga, comics, and even the occasional live gaming stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. I've got to go. I will catch all of you on our next episode.